When you make decisions to pay guys early, you got to be sure. You got to be 100% sure that this was the guy, right? I mean, he's coming off a leg injury. He, he did help lead you to the Super Bowl. He put him in position. Nick Foles took over, ultimately go and win the Super Bowl. Then you give him an extension as if he was the one that actually played in the Super Bowl game and won the game. And, and so it was okay to kind of wait. Just wait a little bit. Let's see what the injury looks like. Let's see what he looks like. Kind of just wait. You don't need to do it. This is why owners and general managers have protections in place right. to be able to, to see it through. Lamar Jackson, perfect example and situation. I can do Lamar right now, right? But I also can wait because I'm not sure. Patrick Mahomes, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Not a problem. What do you want? Here's a blank check. No big deal. Deshaun Watson, I'm sure. What do you want? But there's certain guys that you're like, if I pay him, even a Jared Goff situation, I did not have to pay Jared Goff immediately. Now he's been okay. But I could have waited to pay Jared Goff. I feel you on follow the money. Like You make more and more sense every time I hear you talk about this as it relates to Carson Wentz. I get that. But from the practical fan perspective, right, you're sitting there saying, Okay, the NFC East is horrible. I don't know how the hell we're still in this position, but if Carson is playing this way, if our goal is to win, like wouldn't isn't that the reason why we drafted Jalen Hurts? Didn't we draft him because we thought he could be somebody that could give us more opportunities if Carson was not playing at his best? So wouldn't you see it as, you know, if we're talking about a Taysom Hill and, and Drew Brees situation, can't we get him more involved in offense to see if he actually has a potential that could take us to the next level offensively instead of just, uh, I guess we can get him some more snaps? Well, the, the Drew Brees situation is a little different because Taysom Hill was coming in replacing Drew Brees in games running a couple little trick plays here and there. He wasn't taking the snaps underneath center, throwing the ball all over the lot like he did the other night when they won the football game on Sunday night. It was a little bit different. But when you look at it for what it's worth, you you got to follow the money. They're not going to all of a sudden oh, – okay, here, Jake, you got to explain to me. I'm the owner of the Philadelphia Eagles. You're the general manager and the president of the team – now you got to explain to me why in the hell you gave that dude hundred and something million dollars and you asking me to yeah. sign off on benching him to pay a dude that has no playing experience at quarterback that we drafted in the second round when you convinced me to pay the other guy a year and a half ago a hundred and something million dollars. You got to explain that to me. Do you want to bring that to me? Do you really want to walk into my office know, and say, hey, I, I know. Key, <laughs> I want to play the other guy even though I just gave him – a hundred and some million dollars, and he's going to cost us fifty million if we do anything. You really want to explain that to the owner? I know, Key. I guess I, I guess I want to live in a reasonable wor world where there's an admission of guilt. But in the world that we live in, it's not reasonable. That would never happen because my back is against the wall, and I want to keep my damn job. I'm never doing that. What what professional right. executive have you ever professional executive, whether it's in sports or this business that we're in, ever admitted to they made a mistake? You never gonna hear oh. We probably shouldn't have done that. That was a bad deal. They're never going to admit that. They're just not going to do it. It's egg on the face. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.